Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm fired up. I'm fired up. I'm fired up. If y'all didn't see yesterday's video, you already know where we're at. We're, we're in the same damn position. We're literally a minute later after finishing yesterday's video. Let's get it. Bitch, I'm a dog. All right. Let's get it. Equilibrium. Day two. Let's talk about it. All right. Quick little summary. Hold up. Actually, pause, 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 pause. I, I, I was getting a little bit too, too fired up. We're pausing the recording right now and I'm getting water and then I'm coming back with the same damn, damn energy. I just need water. QP. QP ski. Burt. All right. Back to the track. Tats on the back. Fucking that bitch and I'm making ass clap. <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right. Okay, equilibrium. So quick little summary, right? What is it? It's a retracement tool that allows us to measure a premium and a discount market for smart money to enter the market, right? So again, we'll, we'll draw this out. I tried to do it with my hands. Um, Right, so essentially, all we're measuring is from the high, from the low to the high, and wow, did that perfectly. Um, and we're finding the 50% mark, right? Because right here, everything from the 50% mark up there is a premium, right? Because, right, they push price past this high made this high, we start to get some bearish pressure down here, right? So from here up to this new high that gets made, right when this high gets made, right? What are we, what are we looking for? We're looking for price to come into a discount, right? Because that's where smart money would want to buy. Smart money never buys in a premium. Smart money never, never shorts in a premium. They always buy and they always short in a discount. Where's the discount from the, that 0 0.5 down to the zero, right? Everything within here is a discount. Why? Because it's below this 50% mark from the high to the low, right? And that's really all equilibrium is. It's literally one of the easiest concepts to grasp. So like we'll show it on a downtrend real quick. Okay, same thing. We measure it from the high to the low. Okay, and now we're in a downtrend, right? So anything from, once this low gets formed, anything from here, this is a premium, right? Smart money is not looking to go short within here, but where are they looking to go short? When price gets on sale, okay? How can we also find, you know, a better entry rather than just taking a trade purely off of equilibrium? Maybe there's a fair value gap within here. Maybe we're taking it off of like the first move. Okay, let's get rid of all this. Maybe it's going like this, okay? We're in a downtrend, boom, okay. Maybe it's, we have an order block combined with the confirmation of it being in equilibrium, right? That's, that's what equilibrium is used for. It's a retracement tool, okay? And all we're going to show today, oh wait, in here, I know a lot of you guys asked for this. These are the settings that I have on mine. Oops. I knew there was going to be comments about this, so. This is all I have. Price levels, zero, one, and 0 0.5, because usually the GAN box looks like this. Because it's, it's essentially a fib. You just get rid of all that. Okay, this is what mine looks like. Cool, cool. Um, so I just use a GAN box. You can also use a Fib, um, a Fibonacci. And take off all of these and just do it like that. Okay. trying to remember which ones I had on. I think that was all of them. Right? 
Uh, no, I did not have that. I had. That. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, you can choose, you can choose whichever one. Okay. So, let's go ahead and show it on the chart. Um, this is, this is again, probably one of the, the easier concepts to grasp. And we can show how we can kind of combine it, I guess. So, we'll literally just go ahead and start from the top up here. Okay, so, boom. First of all, we see break of structure to the downside. Okay. We see price, boom. We form a low right here. Right, we see one blue candle. Does it do anything off of that? Nope, perfect. Let's take it lower. Okay, we form a new low down here. Okay, what does price do? Push up in above equilibrium. What else does it do? Fills this fair value gap. Also takes out this liquidity. Price falls. How could you poten potentially find an entry? I know we don't necessarily want to get into that too soon. So we're going to be putting all this together pretty soon, but simple, right? When it comes into equilibrium, when it comes into that fair value gap, break of structure, enter, target previous areas of liquidity, boom, boom, boom. Everything gets hit. Okay, let's move. Let's move, let's move, let's move. Moving forward, okay. From the high. Down to this low. Does it get hit? No. Okay. Nothing gets hit, so what do we drag this down to? All the way down to here. Off of this, does it get hit? No, okay. This low ends up becoming a little bit closer, okay. Boom, price comes into equilibrium. Okay, we see price come into equilibrium. Now, what can we look for on this? I didn't see anything on the daily. We'll have to scale down even lower. Honestly, not much on the four hour either. This is honestly like one where it's like, okay, cool. Well, maybe like you literally just wait for equilibrium to get hit and then you wait for that break of structure. But to me, that's not much confirmation. Get a break of structure, prob it would have ended up working out, targeting previous areas of liquidity, boom, 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 right? And again, the reason why I like this, it happens on literally every single time frame. Okay, so if we go down to like the 15 minute, Right, there's a reason why people love using the 50% mark and like the 64 mark on a Fibonacci for retracements. It's because it's it's because it's equilibrium. They just they're just too stupid to realize that. Let's go to a different pair actually. I mean, we can do it on here. It doesn't matter. Okay, here. We break structure to the upside. Right here, okay, boom, measure it, low, up to the high. Does it get hit on this move On this move down? No, we go higher, perfect, we drag it higher. What does price do? Boom, falls into equilibrium. What can we do? Scale to a lower time frame. What do we have here? We have, okay, right here, technically like liquidity sweep, break of structure, this right here, order block, boom, fill, Break of structure to the upside, long john bomb it, target previous areas of liquidity. Target, target, target. Okay. Moving forward, right? We can literally just do it off this, okay? Boom, we form a low right here. Okay, does this get hit? No, okay, does this get hit? No, we've got, got to go higher. All the way up here, okay, boom, price finally comes down low enough. What does it do? Fills this imbalance, break structure to the upside, rallies, takes out highs. And if you go on the 15 minute, what was this? I literally caught a long off of this today. What's this? Order block. Order block. Let's go to a different asset now. Different market, shall we say. <sighs> A 
right here, literally. Lows, highs, equilibrium. Could kind of consider this an order block because, you know, accumulation, whatever, or whether it's, it's accumulation or an order block, orders were filled within here to cause this price to move higher. Boom, entry, go on the one hour, find a break of structure, whatever you need to do. Okay, one hour. We get a break of structure on this candle. Oh, we can't find a good enough entry, perfect. Wait for it to come back down into equilibrium. Get rid of this, okay, boom, price comes down into equilibrium, rallies higher. What can you do? Scale down to the 15. We break structure on the, on the hourly. Then we break structure on the 15 minute. But this candle, boom, long it, stop under here. Where can we target? Previous areas of liquidity. Liquidity, liquidity, liquidity. Simple shit, man. Very, very simple shit. It's literally, it's just a retracement tool. Nothing more than that, just a just a, a great way of being able to find an accurate represent, rep, representation of where price wants to retrace to. Lows right here, highs right here. Look, perfect dip. What's this within here? Imbalance, fair value gap, fair value gap aligning with equilibrium. Boom, what can we wait for? Literally just scale in, wait for break of structure within this area, long it, target previous areas of liquidity. Perfect, man. Right here, you can, I can already see, this is probably like an hourly break of structure. Where does price, what does price do? Rips, breaks hourly structure, retraces, imbalance, also order block on higher time frame. You're starting to see how we can piece all these things together. It's everything works together with our shit. Then what happens? We get a break of structure again on the hourly, long it, or you see the break of structure on the hourly. Off this, I know we're on the 15 minute, I, I can just visualize this. <laughs> Cause I'm so used to doing this shit. Right, we get a break of structure in the hourly, then what? Hourly low, hourly high, what happens? Price dips into equilibrium, you wait for that break of structure. Boom, we break structure off this high, long it. Stops, under here, target where? Previous areas of liquidity, previous areas of liquidity. Previous areas of liquidity. Simple shit. Oops, ooh, uh, no. Let's see gold, I don't think we've done gold yet. Hmm. Gold is a tricky one because it's been in a range. Let's go to when it was uh, trending. Or gold ranges a lot, actually. But then when it breaks out, it really does go. We can even measure this, bro. Look, we're in a monthly uptrend on gold, by the way. Monthly break, monthly retrace, monthly break, monthly retrace right now. Monthly low, up to the monthly high, boom, perfect. We're in equilibrium right now. What are we looking for? For value gap within here, what else we have? Order block. When these areas get hit, what are we doing? Scaling down to the four hour, waiting for a break of structure, waiting for confirmation. <clears throat> right? Simple, simple shit, man. It's super simple, right off this. High, down to the low. What does it fill? What does this move up fill? Fat ass imbalance right at equilibrium, break of structure. Where does it target? Previous areas of liquidity, liquidity, liquidity. Day in and day out, these things happen with, without failing, without failing, bro. It's just a matter of can you spot it and how well can you get used to spotting them? That's really all it, all it is. It's can you spot it and how good can you get I spotted them on the charts. That's all it is.
I'll show you an equal equilibrium play that a swing trade that we actually took on the disc on the Discord. Literally, this was a while ago. Actually, uh, I'll see if I can actually remember it. Dude, I'm trying to remember where it was. Um, oh, it was this short. It was this short. Look, so we have, and again, right? We're I was playing off of. The, the short time frame. We had a break of structure to the downside on the daily. Boom, high to low, because we were in a, technically in a downtrend on the weekly. We weren't in a weekly uptrend. So I was playing, I was playing what market was telling me. Okay, so we break structure back to the downside. We see equilibrium on the daily, gets hit here. What did we do? Scale down to the four hour. What did I see? I saw price filled this massive imbalance within here, then what did I do? Scale down to the one hour. Get real precise with this, man. Okay, we saw one hour break of structure to the downside. What did I do? I shorted it, stops above here. Where could I, where did I target? Previous areas of liquidity. Liquidity right here, liquidity right here, liquidity right here. And my final take profit was all the way down here. We had four take profits. We hit three of them. Simple, simple shit. And that was off an equilibrium play. How could you, how could you have banked off of this equilibrium play? Daily low, daily high, perfect. We come down. We come down, where was the move prior, where was the move down prior to that extension up? Order cock, price comes in, chop, 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 rallies. Day in and day out, every fucking direction, this shit works. Look, break your structure to the upside, boom, this is the low, this is the high, bling, blow, boom, comes into equilibrium, comes into this order block, rallies. Oh, what's this? Low. What's this? High. What's this? Dips into equilibrium. What's this? Fucking imbalance. What's this? Fill. Rally. Daily low. Daily high. What does price do? Tap, barely taps equilibrium. Rally's higher. Simple shit, man. Simple shit, literally, on, on this, boom, high, down to the low, this, equilibrium. Scale down to the one hour. You can find trades off of this shit. Break of structure, where, where can you trade it into? This imbalance. It's money to be made, bro. So hopefully you guys understand how to use equilibrium now. It is a retracement tool. Whenever you see price make a new high in an uptrend, boom, drag it from the low up to the high. Figure out where price wants to go. Whenever you see a new, whenever you see a new, um, a new low get made in a, or sorry, yeah, a new low get made in a downtrend. Perfect, we're dragging it from the high down to the low. Figure out where price will likely draw to along with everything else we've learned because hopefully now, you guys are starting to see how we can put this shit together and take some fucking quality ass trades. So with that being said, I'm about to film another YouTube video, guy, another bootcamp video for you guys. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Um, who knows what tomorrow is gonna be on, but we got Equilibrium part three. Do we? Do we even need Equilibrium part three? You think we should put everything together in two days? Start putting everything together? We're, Cause we're gonna have a three series thing where we do putting everything together. The first one is literally going to be the step-by-step -step plan of how you can use everything. It's literally just gonna be text. I was gonna do it me talking, but I think text and actually seeing it would be better. Well, you guys don't even have an opinion because I'm about to make the videos. I think we do it. I don't, I don't think we need Equilibrium Part 3. 
I think we're so I think we're already deep enough into this where you guys have a solid enough knowledge of, of the, sh the building blocks where we can get started. So I guess that means we got to make the trading plan video. Trading plan, putting shit together, who knows, some sort of psychology video, putting shit together part two, some sort of psychology video, putting shit together part three. And then I'm really going to be lost for what I'm going to do. Then I'll really have no clue what I'm going to do. <laughs> then maybe I talk about Forex strategy. Then maybe I talk about session opens. Then, may then we get into the small things. Then maybe we talk about how to set stop loss or where to set stop losses, where to set take profits. Some things to think about, but I'm going to make all those videos today. <laughs> so I guess I'll, I'll, I'll see. I'll see as the, these next couple of hours go on. All right. Well, with that being said, I'll catch you boys tomorrow. I'm going to catch myself in like two minutes making another video. Peace out, boys.